I'm Stacy Iwanicki. I'm here at Volo Blog State Natural Area. I work for the Illinois Department of Natural Resources, and I am president of McHenry County Audubon Society, a chapter of Illinois Audubon Society. I am here today because I want to share with you a, a short brief uh, called After the Storm by Charlotte Van Sickle of Winnebago County. Charlotte was born in 1988, and uh, she wrote this little piece in 1940. It's called After the Storm. These records were obtained in Winnebago County, Illinois, not far from the Wisconsin state line, about 100 miles from Chicago. We have kept a bird record for more years than we would care to admit, but we have never done much bird hunting, she puts in quotes, during the winter months. Usually our bird record by the 1st of March contains only the most common bird residents, such as the hairy and downy woodpeckers, chickadees, nuthatches, crows, etc., with quite often a red-headed woodpecker seen near oak groves. This year, our record is different, as nature herself has conspired to literally drop birds and such birds into our laps, willy-nilly looking for them or not. After the unusually warm weather up until January, about the middle of this month, we were blessed, the soil needed the moisture, with a regular old fashioned blizzard which blocked highways with drifts up to eight feet deep. We had our first thrilling experience on our first trip out to the nearby shopping center in Rockford, Illinois, after the highways were cleared. The city is about 20 miles from our home and about halfway there, we crossed quite a large river with bottomlands on both sides. As we were driving along the highway across this low land, I saw what, what I took to be a hawk soaring over a barnyard, and the bird traveled on in the same direction as the highway. I had asked for less speed so that I might follow its flight as long as possible. Suddenly, the bird turned and flew directly over our heads. As he turned, I discovered his white head and tail, and I am afraid I let out a scream to stop the car. My husband, who is, has great patience in driving our bird hunting group around looking for birds, but none when we can't instantly identify a bird on site, stopped the car. He also said, knowing that I do not see great distances, that we had driven a mile since I had first seen the bird, that he thought I must be looking at an airplane. I stepped out of the car with no galoshes, no binoculars, drifts four or five feet deep on all sides, and with open mouth, I'm sure, uh, watched a mature American bald eagle with white head and tail float majestically over my head across the field. On behalf of Charlotte Van Sickle and myself and McHenry County Audubon up in Northern Illinois, not far from the Wisconsin state line, we wish to uh, wish a happy, happy anniversary to Illinois Audubon Society. Thank you.